In this video, I will show you how to perform an augmented digi fuller test using either the built-in PCGIF function of Foxmetrics or manually using regressions. First select model, then model again. In the category select other models and then descriptive statistics using PCGIF, press formulate. I have already selected my variable y, which I wish to test for unit root, so you press OK. And then set unit root tests to what, to what we want to test in the descriptive statistics menu selected here. Then select unit root test stat settings as such and make sure that you have a not crossed off in the report summary table only, like this. For the lag length for differences, we set to 2, meaning we include 2 lags in the regression and a constant. We do not wish to include a trend for this example. Press OK. Press OK again, and we now presented the output. We are given both the regression output and the actual test statistics, or rather the actual test statistic, and the critical values at the 5% and the 1% level. To get the same output manually, select model, model again, then set the category for models for time series data, and single equation dynamic modeling using PCGIF, press formulate. I preset my variables. As you can see, I'm including a constant and two lag differences, in addition to the lag y. Press OK. OK again. Now we need to make sure that we're using the same sample period as before. So now we need to set this to the fourth quarter of 1971 and the second quarter of 2003, as such. And now I press OK. I'll just remove the bottom part of the standard regression output so you can see all of it on the screen. And you can see here that the same augmented digi full test value is presented here as the t value. And it's the same as we got using the built-in function up here.